Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Debate Between Some Shaman and a Jewish Religious Bible who was sharp with his words, he was trolling him some showman not knowing that he was at the background listening to him and he got excited. Let's dive right into the video and see actually what happened. Uh, the Shimonian down I, there. I, no, I no. think Sam is afraid of me. I think Sam, after, after what I did to Matt Slick. Has, has Sam spoken to you before? Yeah, Matt, Sam knows me very well. He He's afraid of me. Uh, he saw my debate with Matt Slick and Matt Slick got embarrassed. So <laughs> that's the last thing. The last thing he wants to do is, is to challenge me in a formal debate. Uh, oh, formal debate. Yeah, yeah, definitely a formal debate. Uh, for the sake of the people. So people. Well, I'm shaking. That's why I'm here. Now let's see, because you keep barking now, I'm shaking, I'm afraid, and I'm going to barbecue you and your fake God because of your mouth. So mm. let's do this, uh, coward, because now you're running your mouth. You thought I wasn't going to come up. You I didn't say that. You're not slick, and I'm going to now barbecue you and your I fake never said that. butchering of scripture. Now, you're the clown that was here last time who couldn't address that cry for Oh, team. that's the same guy. Oh. So now we're going to play your game. Now let's see who's scared of who. Uh, all right, so. Please articulate because you couldn't articulate it clearly. Who is Jesus in relationship to the Father so I can begin your barbecue? No, formal debate. No, dude, formal you debate. came here, you know the format. People come here and we interact. So I don't want to tell between your legs with it your says, God. bring your objections. God. Yeah, yeah, no problem, no problem. I can do that. I can do that. Position, but you, but you're going to have to be quiet because the last time the last time you were too excited and you're always excited. I'm very so you excited. Quiet. Can you answer the question and stop? Yeah, but uh, try to be calm. Who is Jesus? Have the Holy Spirit. I'm going to calm you down if you keep barking. Bow, wow, wow. Who is Jesus in relationship to the Father? Watch, I can be quiet. Who is Jesus in relationship to the Father? He's obviously the Son. Father? <laughs> He's obviously the Son. Okay. <laughs> okay. So. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. No, let's ask this again, because you believe in, debate. you believe in a perverted hypostatic union, where according to the debate you had slick, where he cleaned your clock, even though you're delusional. Give me an Satan, example. You believe that the Father and the Son are one, right? <laughs> that shows you how dumb you are because I never you said tell that. Tell us who the father and son are and stop barking, dude. Because no, you just said I said the father and the son are, are the same okay, person. So you believe that the father and the son are one, right? Hold on, on, did I say you said three persons? I go, you believe the father and the son are one, right? That's what of I course. just said. Okay, of course. Okay, they so are. why are you now misrepresenting me? In what sense are they one? They share the same nature. Okay, what does that mean? They share the same nature. Wow, I have to. You see, these kind of people, they are always defensive because they don't have any other argument to bring. So they are always defensive and always bringing unnecessary provocation and all that sharp words. Up. You see, they and Sam is about to humble him. Let's continue with this video. Wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. Do the tap dance. What is it? John one eight. He is in the bosom of the Father. He is qualified. I'm going to finalize my statement. The bosom of the Father. John 1.18. I'm going to finalize my statement. He is called Theos as a statement of predication, which means he shares in the same name. I know you're throwing out fancy terms that you don't know how to define. What does predication mean? That means they are they share in the same essence, the same nature. So Jesus, so the man do a form of debate. Jesus, the man on earth, divine. That man, was he divine? Did he have a divine nature? No, he had a divine titles. I, I, I didn't finish. He has a divine titles because he humbled himself and took upon himself a nature, which is human. As per Philippians two six and seven, to people who know actually uh, actually know how to read and actually what understands what the uh, the word morphe means in the Greek. As per what Philippians two six and seven, define what morphe means. Form, 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 form. What does form mean? Uh, yeah. So Philippians two six, when it says him being continuous present in the form of god did not consider his equality with god something to hold on to so what so basically yeah. what it means former god in that statement it means that he is equal to god as uh once you compare it to the rest as of the, the statement. person with the father before the incarnation i'm sorry so now i want to bear you with your words so you're saying in the form of god means he's equal to god so that person was with the father before creation as an equal divine person exactly if verse 6 says him being in the form of god do not consider his equality with God something to hold on to. So when it says form more fate of God, that equates him to being God. So when it says, uh, but uh, he humbled himself and took the form more fate of a human. 
So that would mean that form of human. You misquoted it. Read it. Uh, 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 form of the likeness of man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, no, the likeness of man and the likeness of man is human. Word morphe was not used in that part. It's schema. Go back and tell me what form he took. It, it says, but humbled himself and took the likeness. Uh, uh, took the form. The part you want, I want you to quote. Took, uh, took, no, no, no. I got it. I got it. Uh, uh, it, yeah, took, the, got it. Uh, it took the form of a servant and the likeness of man. Basically, that's what it says. Okay, so how do you take the form of a servant? Servant is not a nature, it's a position and status. So Einstein, tell me, how do you take the form of a servant? Well, it says likeness of man, that's why I say... Uh, <laughs> so, but wait, hold on. Let's go with the term morphe, which you thought you knew. Taking the form of a servant cannot mean taking the nature, because servant is a position and status, right? It does not disqualify that. No, I didn't ask you. So answer the question I asked, not the one you imagine in your mind, because I know you're having a conversation with a demon in your mind. I said it does not disqualify that. that therefore, it doesn't mean you it necessitate. I, I, I didn't. Fin I didn't finalize my statement. It does not necessitate a nature. That is is, is good. my so position. You're, good. So we're on the same page. All right. Now, well, let me tell you what you're arguing. Because he went from having the form of God to the form of a servant, that means he wasn't divine on earth. Even that's not my argument. You just said earlier that when Jesus I said likeness of men, I don't don't Jesus, don't don't. don't and I repeat words. what you said. It's recorded. You said Jesus on earth had divine titles, yes. but it wasn't because he had divine nature. Did you not say that? Exactly. Okay, so I'm representing you if you start manifesting because now you you, mis you misqualify what I said I about Philippians two seven. Can I make the point? Can yeah, I but don't mis point? don't don't misrepresent Your me. Your argument here is the form of God that he somehow emptied it he doesn't have the form of god because he took Ex the form of the servant because every single time five times the word canal is used and it always means empty. i'm not going into the word ekinosin einstein i'm going to the word form your argument is that having the form of god and then he took yeah. the form of a servant man because he took the form of a servant he no longer has the form of god right because he's not divine on earth no my argument is predicated on two things three things actually the fact that he humbled himself and he emptied himself canal Yes. And that the that fact is the likeness of what? Huh? Of what? Because his you're, form, you're, his form, his form. He emptied himself. What does it mean? Now, but now you. This is where your burial begins because you just said form. Form yeah. does not necessitate <laughs> necessitate nature. Yeah. But status. So yes, he emptied himself of his divine status, not nature. <laughs> the demons. Hey, Dufia. The demons manifesting. Hey, Salat. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, oh, moron. What are, what are you, know, you talking about? Status? All in Derek. You know, you know, it's status. Yeah, go because ahead. Tell in me. Philippians 2, 9 to 11. It says, God therefore exalted him and gave him the name because in the context, you idiot, it's yeah. talking about him setting aside his status <laughs> as God and taking the status of a slave and uh, then being re exalted to his status as God. It has nothing to do with giving up one nature for another, you idiot. Does God have a body by nature? Of course. Okay, so now, again, Einstein, let's work through this. So, did God create all time, space, and place? I said he has a bodily form. Okay, a did God form. create all time, space, and place? Yes, you retard. Well, you asked okay, me some so questions. more off. Before there was time and space and place, did God have a bodily form? Yes. Okay, you see why you're too stupid to debate? Wow. Because how can he have a body wow. before time and space exist when a body requires space and place, idiot? It's talking about status. And to further prove, contrary to the clown, that Jesus did stop being God on Jesus. earth, do you further prove that Jesus didn't stop being God on earth? Read Colossians 1, 18 and 19. It says, on earth, as he seeks to reconcile the heavens and the earth, all of God's fullness was in him on earth, right? And he is the head of the body of the church. He is the beginning, the first one from the dead, and in everything he might be preeminent, preeminent. For in him all the fullness of God was pleased to dwell and, dwell, and through him to reconcile to himself all things, whether on earth or in heaven, making peace by the blood of his cross. So at what point did Jesus cease having the fullness? Because it's talking about his role as creator and savior of the creation that he brought into being. Back. I think that was an amazing one. He, at first, the guy was sharp with his words. He was trolling uh, San Shaman, and immediately San Shaman was at the background at first. Yeah, he was at the background at first, and the guy didn't know that San Shaman was at the background listening to him. Then he came on online, and you know, the one thing with this kind of people is that they don't, they, they know their argument is not doesn't have any basic so they try to, to come with sharp words trying to bring things that will distract you actually he was cool and he was 
highly embarrassed. But you can leave your comment on uh, the comment section and also like share our videos with your friends and your family and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.